In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good people, I'm sure you are well. This Monday, the 25th day of April, in the year of our Lord and Savior, 2022. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Mark the Evangelist. And a few things that comes out as are in his lesson on how to practice our faith. We, we are Christians, and we know that we are. We are men and women of faith. And therefore, today I want us to reflect on how can we exercise our faith every day? How can we practice our faith every day? You know... Faith is not something that we do because, you know, somebody said that we are Christians, we want to prove a point. It is. I, I read a book and the writer said that uh, practicing our faith should be a Christian's lifestyle. So is it your lifestyle to practice your faith? How do we do it? Allow me to share with you some uh, seven critical steps on how to practice your faith. Step number one is by being charitable. This is where we say that faith without action is dead. Charity is love in action. Charity is love in action. And precisely this is what we have been called to do. Sharing ourselves with the others Sharing whatever we have with the others. Knowing that um, the wealth of this world belongs to God. We are just stewards. And therefore, we can share with our brothers and sisters with whatever it is that we have. Step number two, by being patient. A virtue that is sometimes very slippery. And especially when it comes to dealing with persons who are a bit difficult. And because we need to win them for Christ, they do not have to come along in the same speed we would want them to. Because they have been socialized differently. The way we know God and the way they know God is completely different. We may be, and this is true, on different levels of our spiritual depth. No wonder we are told that every time you are praying for somebody for conversion, and they are taking longer than you expected, don't give up. Don't give up because your level of spirituality in terms of depth is not the same with the other person. And therefore, because some may take their time, our work is simple. To continue doing the best that we can for them, reminding them the beauty of the gospel, or reminding them of everything good that you would want them also to, to be part of. Patience is step number two in practicing our faith. Being Christ-like. That is uh, step number three. Loving people the way Christ would. Treating people the way Christ would. Thinking of people in terms of compassion the way Jesus would. You can imagine a contradiction when we talk about being Christians, but at the same time, though we are Christians, at the same time, our life is not a reflection of how Jesus is or who Jesus is. Being Christ-like is turning our life to reflect how Jesus would have done a certain thing or said something 
or treated a group of people or an individual exactly what he would have done that is exactly what we are supposed to do and we are called to do step number four is being forgiving forgiveness is a great mark of our faith and a, a, and a christian attitude forgiving is not very easy the good thing is that it is doable and workable. The reason why we say that is because forgiveness, when we forgive, when I forgive, for instance, I am the beneficiary. Forgiveness does not mean that the evils that were done to me have been condoned. No. We, are, we have been taught that you can forgive and of course, pursue justice. Nothing wrong with that. You can forgive and of course cut link. But the point is, you do not have an unnecessary load that you are carrying because so and so did one or two, three things. That is step number four. Step number five, being a vessel of God's mercy being a vessel of God's mercy. He doesn't have feet. He uses our feet. He doesn't have hands. He uses our hands. Whatever it is that we have, it is for the greater glory of God. The question is, how usable are we to God? How usable are my organs to God? How usable is the whole of myself to God? Because remember, accessibility does not necessarily mean availability. We can be accessible, but not available. Sometimes we can be inaccessible and unavailable. Yet, we are Christians. So we are called to not only be accessible, but also available for use. Step number six. By taking up my cross and following Jesus. I take up my cross and follow Jesus. It's another way that we are practicing our faith. Jesus told, uh, says, that if you want to be my disciple, take up your cross and follow me. It is not about us, dear good people. It is not about you. It's about Christ who called us. And finally, finally, by living a life of constant self-denial and sacrifice. I'm informed also I read that Christianity minus sacrifice is a hollow way of life. Uh -huh. Christianity minus sacrifice is a hollow way of life. We attach ourselves to so many things to the extent that they become barriers of our following Jesus. In one way of authenticating our following of him is always making sure that we do not have those unnecessary attachments. That is why we talk about sacrifice. That is why we talk about self-denial. We do not pursue every point of gratification. No, please. Therefore, the step that I have shared with you, maybe amongst many others, you can be also be able to follow them to practice your faith and you never know, to grow your intimacy with God. Thank you. May the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Monday.